So, how do you get black hole? <clears throat> if you go to the search engine of your choice and uh, type in black hole virtual audio driver, you're going to see existential audios black hole, um, which will allow you to route audio between apps. <clears throat> now, they ask for a $10 donation. You probably have $10. So, um, support them, donate $10, download black hole. I'm not going to download Black Hole because I will have to reboot my computer, <laughs> um, which will interrupt the stream and you will all be waiting as I do that. However, I have already downloaded Black Hole and have used it all of the time. So once you download this, you install it, you reboot your computer, you now have this um, virtual audio driver that helps audio uh, go from one app to another. So when you open up your audio settings inside of a Mac, you will see you now have your new black hole and your inputs and your outputs are all the same. So the way to think about black hole and how it moves things is any audio that goes to the output of channel one will then be resent to the input of channel one. So you could see how you could end up with a loop, right? So we got to be careful to not have that. And let me show you how we set that up. So I'm going to go into Gig Performer, and at the end here, we have uh, end of my chain. Right now, I'm sending it to my Motu M4. So I need to change this to Black Hole because I want to get the audio out of Gig Performer. Now, you can certainly create an aggregate device if you want both, but if you're using both programs, I find that it's actually not necessary. So if you open up Gig Performer's settings and you go to your audio, you will see that you're now going to have this option for your black hole. <clears throat> and I'm going to apply settings. Now, while that's happening, um, I'm going to toggle over to Ableton. And I'm going to do a similar thing. So I want to set it up so that Ableton is listening for black hole um, as its audio input device. And I'll set the audio output to the M4. So black hole now to Ableton is like a microphone. Let's go ahead and see if Gig Performer has done it. Yep, so I have all of my instruments going to channels one and two of Black Hole. And now, inside of Ableton, I'm gonna create an audio track. Just Command T, audio from uh, one and two. Okay, now, right now, when I hit a key, you'll see audio is coming out of the bottom of Gig Performer, but we're not hearing it. And that's because the audio is being sent to Black Hole. So if I set this audio channel here to in, um, it's probably a little bit hard for you to tell how, uh, how well that works without actually pressing the key, but there is no delay at all, <laughs> uh, which is pretty, pretty insane. So my keyboard is going into Gig Performer. Gig Performer is creating that audio. It's hitting black hole and it's being received on my uh, Ableton set. So now that you've got this all set up and routed correctly, all you have to do is hit record inside of Ableton and anything you play inside of Gig Performer is gonna be easily routed right into your Ableton live set or into the DAW of your choice.